See, we're being very tactical about this. Yeah. Come on, you jerk. Oh god! I thought he was dead! <laughs>
if any of you out there know this game or if it was a cherished game from your childhood. This is not a game that I know very well. Oh, God. Okay, watch out for that robot, note to self. As you can clearly tell, I've never played this before in my life. I had a Sega Genesis at the very end of its lifespan, and the game that I played on Sega was Sonic the Hedgehog. So, I'm not familiar with too many of these Genesis classics. Although, you know, one thing is, you can totally tell this is a Genesis game, I would argue, due to its sound. Like, you can just listen. Oh, even the bullets kind of arc with gravity. It's kind of interesting. But you can just listen to the music of a game like this, and you can totally tell it's like a Genesis. Oh, little dudes. Oh, shoot, am I supposed to rescue these dudes? Because I totally killed two of them. <laughs> All right. Didn't realize there was an active mission. I was kind of just killing everything. Um, kind of reminiscent of my run at uh, Pixel Junk Shooter because I totally killed a few scientists there. Mission 1 complete. Okay, note to self, we got to pay attention to the missing mission briefings in this game. There's something like 10 missions, and you do have to do things in them, so I, I should pay attention. Notorious for just skipping the dialogue of any game. Although, aren't we all? Like, who meticulously reads every piece of dialogue in a game? Game designers have kind of thrown so much useless dialogue at us that we just kind of take it for granted and ignore stuff. You begin your mission here. Okay. The sub-module is here. Our aliens have sealed the entrance of the cave, trapping our men. Okay. So what do we need to bust in there? Lay it on me. Spy group, rescue report that aliens have built a doomsday device. Doomsday device is such a classic trope. So retrieve... Okay. Mining areas equipped with rail allow greater stability when fighting enemies. I would appreciate that. End of line. <laughs> what what old what ancient computer are they on? Where it has to print end of line. Okay. How do I get on this thing? Game pause. Get on the rail. That's useless. Ah, oh, I'm like bouncing. Okay. I'm gonna kill this dude. Green level one. How do you wait? Yes, I'm on. Yes. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, so much easier. Whoa. Oh, look at that! Cool! Interesting. Oh, yeah. Look, look how easy this is now. I'm just gonna zoom around this way. Oh my god, I'm fighting a giant head. What the hell is this? That's not an alien. Oh my god, it's got me. What is happening? Okay, here's where this game meets Smash TV, because apparently one of the aliens is literally just some... It, that was like three heads stapled together. This guy has three faces. What are these things around me? Ah, oh, my shields can't handle it. Okay, run away. We had our fun with that. Let's get some fuel. Okay, fuel collected. Let's go back down here. Let's go back on the rails. feel safe on the rails. And get in there. Oh yeah, look at that. I totally can. Oh my god, stay away giant face. What? Like, who? who is sitting there designing a game? Like, you know what we don't see enough of is like giant disembodied heads. I'd really like to make a game where one of those is the key villain. Can, like, maybe? Do you think we can do that, guys? Oh god. How do you get off the rail? Huh. You have to, like, fly all the way back down there. Okay. Whatever. Oh, God! Oh, my God! That didn't work out well for me. Okay. I'm digging these, like, Sega beats. So as I was saying about the music, the music, I mean, Sega games just sort of sound more like rock than Nintendo. Like, I don't know what it was about the Genesis, but it's music 
It sounded kind of like, oh, all that for an extra life. I lost a life trying to get an extra life. Okay, well that was useless. Okay, something tells me I gotta defeat this head. If I can get on this thing, get, there we go. Okay. Where are you, head? This way. Stay away from me. Oh my god. This is like this the weirdest boss ever for level two. Again, a disembodied head. And I don't even know if I'm damaging it. Oh my god. My shields are or my fuel is low. Oh my god. Did not see that coming. These, these enemies are hardcore. They're not messing around. They're like, oh, you don't know my, what my mechanic is? Well, let me show you. Oh, God. They just blow me up into little pieces. Okay. Ah! <laughs> I felt... I, I went right into that. I beeline for him every single time. My God. Okay. We need a plan here, guys. Whoa! That's it? Ah, oh, look at that. It's a faux 3D ship. Um, oh, we get to put our name at least. J. Oh, J. A. Y. Alright. We're part of the ages now. In the big leagues. At the end. End. There we go. Part of the big leagues, part of Subterranea. Can't say that name right. Okay, so we were recruited into the army. I think we had too much of a nonchalant attitude. If you watch that cutscene, our guy was floating down that tube to get into his ship. He wasn't phased by anything that was happening around him. Not what you want in a soldier. Not when things are this intense. Look at this intro cutscene. The guy was screaming as he was exploded. Hostilities have been building up with these aliens. I don't know who they are, what they want. They are disembodied heads, and we do not stand for that in this universe. Our guy needs a backstory. We're gonna have to make one up. Let's watch him, like... <laughs> like, he's so disinterested in what's going on. He's probably on, like, Snapchat or Instagram. Maybe this is, like, you know the joke, like, you know, modern young people, they don't care about anything, uh, kind of. And they, you know, they're just so self-involved. I mean, I'm not saying that's true, but like, as a joke, maybe that's what's going to happen in the future. It's like, all society will change and people will be like, far less interested in their jobs. He's like, yeah, aliens are attacking, but you know, my friend just sent me an awesome tweet. And I gotta find out what's happening on the Instagrams. Man, I sound like the oldest person in the world right now, I'm sure. <laughs> I sh I, you know what, I shouldn't make fun of like, Snapchat and Instagram, because probably the type of people who want are going to watch my videos use those things. And it is, it is all good in the hood, guys, to be into whatever you want to be into. Oh, that did a lot of damage to me. I mean, who am I to talk? I'm on, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Reddit. I actually do have Snapchat, too. I stopped using it because it's, Snapchat is designed really poorly, I find. It's, like, really inefficient on my phone. Like, sucks up a lot of battery and, okay, cannot rest there. Any reason to be over here? None. So I came down here just to die. And then it just felt like dying down here. Okay. Well, good thing there's an extra life right here, which I will take. Okay, now we're back. We're back at par, where we were before. Hey. Man, it is really hard to shoot guys because of the stupid gravity that's constantly pulling you down. So when I saw this game, you know, in the book, Thousand One Games Just Play Before You Die, I thought it would be kind of fun to play a, a, an old game like Asteroids because I just played Pixel Junk Shooter recently. And I didn't realize that it had this stupid gravity mechanic going on. I'm going to go on the record. I sound like a broken record at this point. But I'm going to say again, I'm not a fan of this gravity thing constantly pulling you down. Because that means when you have to shoot guys that are below you, 
it's just really complicated in terms of like how you want to move around. And if you want to run away from a guy, you can't run away from a guy you're shooting at. With Pixel Junk Shooter and Asteroids and stuff, you can move in any direction and shoot in any direction. So. Wait, I'm done, right? Where am I supposed to go? Fuel collected. Okay. Can I go back? Oh god. The base now. I also don't like how you're not supposed to... What's up here? Anything? I don't like how you're not supposed to, like, bounce off the walls. I understand it makes sense logically, but... Oh my god, stay away! But it's sort of, it's kind of an annoying game feature. Oh god. Oh, we need this thing, I think. Mission accomplished. Return to base. Again, reading the mission briefing would have told me a lot. But my guy's not into reading. Oh god, fuel low. Hold on, everybody! Oh yeah! Okay, well, we died once, but we got the extra life. So I think this is a good start. I think we can beat level 2. I have faith in this. Although, I've been wrong before. Okay, let's study this cave. There's something in the upper right. Okay, so we have to save the guys in the top left. There's something in the upper right. Okay, there's four caves that we can explore. Alright, I got this. I don't need any more briefing. What is over here? Where's your doomsday device? Shield refreshed. Okay, so that was a waste of time. Okay. The guys are over here. That's an extra life, so I don't really care about that. We never made it down here because of this dude. To, oh man, he jumps high! Ah! Oh, God. Okay, we need fuel. Fuel low. Get some fuel. See, we're being very tactical about this. Yeah. Come on, you jerk. Oh, God! I thought he was dead! Are you serious? How much do you have to shoot that dick? See, this is what I mean, like, I have to shoot a guy who's below me, but it's really hard to be maneuverable and shoot down. I can get, like, a few volleys off, but then I have to, like, turn somewhere else so that I can fly away. So I, I don't like the, the gravity mechanic. I don't like the main mechanic of the game. Is this the Doomsday device? No, just ten missiles. Okay, we lost a life for nothing. Red level two. Okay. Okay. This thing. Oh, there's a cave over here. Okay, hold on. We need to be on the rails for this. Otherwise, we're just going to burn up fuel. Okay, here we go. Are you kidding me? My... My, my missiles don't reach it? Oh my god. Okay, there's probably like nothing of consequence in here. But I've kind of committed to opening up this cave. Like, what am I doing wrong in terms of the controls? I feel like I'm not piloting this ship very well at all. Ten missiles. Okay, we keep getting missiles and fuel and stuff. I guess the thing we gotta do is fight this head. The head must be the doomsday device. We're puzzling through here. I mean, I don't have any better idea. We've kind of gone in every cave. The only thing left is this freaking head. 
carefully. I don't want to get too close. He's just going to throw me around and kill me. Where is he? Oh my god, he just shot at me anyway. Where are ya? Oh man, suicide, suicide into him! He's, he's on fire. That's gotta mean something. I think. No, let's just smoke from my stuff hitting him. I can't tell if I'm hurting him. Oh, don't you love it when there's bosses? And they have, like, no indicator whether they're taking damage. Although he did lose his, his little tail. That is a good sign. Ugh. Oh my god. And I'm just dead. Do we get to keep our missiles? And is, is he still damaged? I have a feeling no and no. No. Oh, but he does look... He does appear to be damaged, so... Can I just sit here and wait for him? Wait. Is he too smart for that? Believe it or not. Oh, we did it! We took him out! I think. Or we, we blew the skin off his face, at least. Okay, but was he the Doomsday device? I'm so confused. Okay, he's just dead now. Free to explore up here and find nothing. Um. Okay, how do we get off this thing? Okay. Oh! Okay, we are so low on fuel, I don't even know if we're going to be able to <laughs> safely get these guys back home. So I thought we were supposed to pick up a doomsday... Oh man, look at the fuel! What are we supposed to do? We're just totally screwed. Yep. I... I just... <laughs> oh man. Alright. Go get these these jerks. Oh. What is left to do then? Hmm. So one interesting aspect about this game is you do have like these missions, and as you can see, it's kind of not always clear what you're supposed to be doing. Let's, like angle our shots here. There we go. Uh, I wish it was I knew how to get off the, the thing. There we go. So are we supposed to get well this is an extra life, so this just helps us. Ow, ow. Okay, what cave have we not got in? Ow, ow, ow. Missiles. Let's get the fuel while we're here. I, n I never thought this would be a where the hell do I go game. I thought it would be pretty obvious where to go and what to do. Okay, are we, are we done the level yet? Oh. Pfft. Hmm. Okay, so interesting thing about this game. I can already kind of give my feedback, even though I've only done two levels here. We'll play the third level, but I'm not going to sort of keep going too far in this. Obviously, I have some issues with the controls. I, it's hard to kind of describe without playing, but this whole gravity thing of constantly being sucked down is a little annoying. The missions also, it's nice that they give you like the feedback report and stuff at the beginning here, but it is a little confusing as to when the level is ended. Like in that mission right there, I thought I did everything, but it didn't tell me to go to the end, and so I was confused. In the first level, I thought I did the stuff, and I went to the end, and it wasn't over. There's other stuff I had to do. So, I mean, as I said, I'm skipping the whole briefing, so really it's going to be my fault if uh, if I mess stuff up. But go to one, then two, and then three. Okay, one, then two, then three. 
I don't know what are at these places because I was not paying attention. One, then two, then three, then four. Okay. One, one to the next. I do like that you have missions, by the way. I should say that, you know, I have some complaints with um, the controls of this game and maybe some of the feedback for the missions, but the idea of having missions, having a mission briefing, is actually pretty awesome. And those graphics, by the way, those like faux old computer briefing graphics, those are actually terrific. Uh, the graphics of this game generally are amazing. And generally speaking, I would say I really like the sound effects in this game and the look of it. If a few of the basic gameplay elements were changed around a little, I think I would enjoy this game a hell of a lot more. Mainly getting rid of the gravity and making it so that walls, hitting walls didn't really, oh God, impact you. Oh, get in there, get in there. Oh, what, what the hell is this? Oh, God. Oh, shoot. I should have paid attention to the briefing. That point where you're flying around a curved laser with things flying around you, and you have no idea what to do. You realize you totally should have been listening to the general when he was briefing you earlier. Like, what am I supposed to do here, exactly? Um, oh, God. Die, apparently. Is there anything I can destroy here? Am I even damaging this thing? Can't tell. Is there a way to see the mission? <laughs> Damn it. Well, I gotta chalk this one up to my own, uh... My own ignorance here. Okay, I cannot shoot that thing. Damn. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna look up this mission. We don't want our very last life to just be pointless. Okay, listen to this. Mission three. This mission has a high-powered mining laser, which there are several deflectors that the player has to use to defeat it. Use how? Along with employing a utility truck that will assist the player as the equipment the player collects can be dropped down to the truck. Equipment from where? What is the truck going to do with it? The player has to destroy some of the hailing housing to get to the deflectors, which will be used against the laser itself, blah, 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 the rest of the mission. I mean, that is just so convoluted and confusing. What am I supposed to do with that information? So I guess we have to try and do something with those deflectors, but I have no idea what. Like, these things. Okay. Okay, what do, what do I do to you guys? All, all I know how to do is shoot. Whoa! Oh god, oh god, okay. Like, is my shooting doing anything to you? I have no idea. And I'm just like burning fuel. Gonna <laughs> get ready to die very soon. Oh my god. Oh god, uh, like, does colliding with you do anything? Nope. The, apparently if I drop something to the truck, the truck would use it. How do I get into these things? Here, eat some missiles. That does nothing. Doesn't seem to do anything. <laughs> well, this is about par for course for this game. Even with a mission briefing, I have no idea what to do. Oh, they're just pushing me around. They're just going to kill me. Well, I can say for pros and cons of this game, it is a very neat game, great graphics, great idea with the missions. I love that. I wish that missions were a little clearer. I wish the controls were better. Uh, what happened? Mission failed. Sat scan version 0 0.9. End of game. I guess the aliens won or something. I don't even know what the consequences of my defeat were. <laughs> God, it really motivates you when you have absolutely no no idea why defeat even matters. Um, which is true of a lot of old games, I guess. Like, what was the the, the fail scenario in Mario? A lot of people didn't even know what they were playing the game for. I guess to save the princess, but who was she? Is she even worth saving? I don't know. Well, we made it up halfway halfway up the charts. It's pretty good. I like how all the default scores, though, it's like they didn't even pass a single level. You're on level zero, and you got... 
the 100,000 points. You gotta know that that was uh, nepotism right there. You didn't earn those points. You didn't even play a level. Um, so there's some pros, there's some cons to this game. Is this a game you should play before you die? I would definitely say that, I mean, in my own opinion, I think this is one you can skip. It's kind of neat to go back and look at the old graphics. And again, the mission briefing and kind of the cutscene at the or at the start of this game is kind of amazing for its time. It's so retro and funky and the music is cool. The graphics look cool. Is this a game that I think has amazing gameplay that you're going to want to come back to? I personally think no. Um, if you are a fan of these sort of gravity power thrust style games, you may really like this game, and so this might be one you want to try. But I don't think that type of gameplay has really stood the test of time well, and I think this is one you could easily pass. Guys, if you have enjoyed this video, give me a like, give me a subscribe, because we'll be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game. And until then, guys, take care of yourselves, and peace. Oh man, imagine there was a guy in that ship right now. He would probably be like just ready to barf all over himself. Could someone stop it from spinning? I'm gonna rolf.